Scarba. Sir. Sarbuck, it is a mild, mild wind and a mild looking sky. On such a day I struck my first whale. Boy Harpony of eighteen. Forty. Forty. Forty years ago. Forty years of continued wear. Forty years of privation and power. And I, of those forty years, I have not spent three ashore. Whole oceans away from the young girl wife I wedded when I was past forty. And sailed for Cape Horn the next day, leaving but one dent in my marriage pillow. Why? Wife, rather a widow with a husband alive. Stand close to me, Starbuck. Let me gaze into a human eye. It is better than to gaze into sea or sky. It is better than to gaze upon God. By heaven, man, this is a magic glass. I see my wife and my child in thine eye. No, no. On board, Mr. Starbuck, stay on board. Lower not when I do, when Brand and Ahab gives chase to Moby Dick. That hazard shall not be thine, no, no, not that far away home I see in that eye. Oh, my captain, my captain, noble soul, grand old heart after all. Why should anyone give chase to that hated fish? Away with me, let us fly these deadly waters, let us home. Wife and child, too, are Starbucks. Even as thine, sir, are the wife and child of thy loving, longing, paternal old age. Away! Let us away! Let me alter the course. What? Is it? What? Nameless, inscrutable, unearthly thing is it? What hidden lord and master and cruel, remorseless emperor commands me that against all natural lovings and longings I so keep pushing and frowning and jamming myself on all the time. Is Ahab, Ahab? Is it I, or who, or God, that lifts this arm? But if the great sun moves not of himself, but by some invisible power, how then can this one small brain think this one small heart beat, this one small life. Unless God does that living, that beating, that thinking, and not I. By heaven, man, we are spent round and round in this world like yonder wind lass, and fate is the hands by. And all the time, lo, this smiling sky, and this unsounded sea, 
Starbuck. 